Amen. Praise God. Wow. Welcome to Grow in the Word. Praise we Him. We are excited about the Word of God. Wow, that's what keeps us going. I mean, you can afford to miss a meal. You can afford uh, to, 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 to miss out on some water. But when it comes to the Word of God, that's really what keeps us going. And that's and right. Early, it's so good to, to be here uh with you for hosting this program with you and and um excited about what god is doing in your life and hey how are you today well thank you that's very kind of you to say that and i must reciprocate the sentiment woman of god uh well i have i hear the um the words of the prophet isaiah as my hope and as my witness it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken off of his shoulder and the yoke, the trial, the trouble, the tribulation shall be destroyed because of the anointing. And I love yes. the anointing minister. Yes, yes, I, yes. I feel a witness right now that yes. that anointing is the active presence of the Holy Ghost. So Amen. we thank God for the Holy Ghost. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Excited to be back here. Uh, with all our wonderful uh, viewers that are already sitting at the table. Um, it's good to see you, Valerie from London and and Marcel from Maryland and Ernesta, Clestine from Brooklyn and Roseanne and Pammy from Canada uh -huh. and Noreen. I mean, uh, just representing so many different um, areas of the globe. And what we would like for you to do is at this time, just start sharing. I mean, whether you're on Facebook Live or if you're watching on YouTube, just, uh, and Pamela from Brooklyn, uh, just share this wonderful uh, information tonight. And don't ever forget to, to just go like our pages and, and whatever you do, just keep on sharing the word of God. Because hey, whenever you hear about a good restaurant and you know that the food is good, uh -huh. Asking uh -huh. uh, someone told me they took their family to a really nice restaurant recently, and I wanted information because you know, if it's good and you find out that the food is good, the atmosphere is inviting, then you want to invite others and you want to go there as well. And so it's the same thing with growing the word. I mean, yeah. if you're feeding on this word and it's doing something for you. Uh, just feeding on the just word. share it with others. Share the good news with others. Feeding, so, feeding on the word. I like that. Feeding, yes. feeding on the word. Feeding yes. on the word. We don't just we don't just uh, preach, and we don't just teach or read or listen. We feed on the word. It is yes, our sir. nourishment, our yes. nutrition, our mm -hmm. our delicious meal. We feed on it. We don't just read it. We eat it. I love yes. that concept. Bless you, Pammy. You you already acknowledge Pammy, right? Oh uh, yeah, yes, definitely. Marcel, so, Doreen, uh, and there's Victor, Victor, Brooklyn also uh, joining us as well. Always excited to see to see all of you, and I know you are ready. I mean, uh, Minister, we've been on an exciting journey. Oh man, really, one of my favorite. Um, one of my favorite. In terms of, of of strengthening our walk and. And comparing it with that of the natural, I mean, using some of the same principles and knowing that uh, when we apply uh, principles from the word of God in our lives, that, I mean, it's it's the best thing. We, we can uh, use principles from the world and, and apply them. But when it comes to the word of God, there's nothing more concrete. We know for sure that it is going to work. And so, I mean, we we uh, we looked at spiritual appetite and and the fact that you know there must be a desire, there must be a thirst, there must be a hunger, an um, acquired taste. That's an right. Acquired a taste. developed a developing taste. Yeah. Yeah, and and right. that's good. You know, that's actually a a, a a very an excellent way of putting it. Uh, developing because what we want you to know is that this is not an overnight <laughs> right 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 good good but, but good what, you know it, good it, it's continuing it's developing and as you go along perhaps as you look through uh some of the 
different series that we have dealt with, you might say to yourself, wow, I, I messed up here, I messed up there. But the right. great thing <laughs> about God's word and, and, and God's agenda is that there's always room, there's always opportunity for us to grow, for us uh, to correct our mistakes. There's always grace available and that's what so, I, yeah, I that's like it. that no minister that's encouraging that see and I, what you just stated that needs to be repeated again and again and again because no one knows mm -hmm. our failures and our slips and trips like we do exactly uh because there's a saying uh the best is in the worst of us and the worst is mm -hmm. in the best of us so yeah. there's always something to develop again we use that word there's always something yeah. to nurture uh to correct to fortify to strengthen yes. and the thing i love about it why while while that's not it's not burdensome in the sense that oh god here here he comes he's waiting for his hammer no because the bible already tells us mm -hmm. in romans chapter 8 and verse 1 there is therefore now as one of the like most prophetic now. and powerful words in the New Testament, mm -hmm. Minister Judy Linton. Now, yeah. in the dispensation of grace, now un unmerited favor, now in the dispensation of one-on-one -on -one relationship with the Father, yes. now in the dispensation of the Holy Ghost, there is therefore now no, wow. that's miraculous, condemnation. Yes. And the word yes. is no condemning sentence. Mm -hmm. So again, I love this statement. He covers us while he uncovers us. And this yeah. is what I love Proverbs. Maybe you can, I, I can't remember. I know the address. I just can't remember the, uh, I, I know the neighborhood. I can't remember mm -hmm. the exact address. But mm -hmm. he said the righteous fall. Yeah. The, the idea is they, they trip, they, you know, in many different ways. Yes. Even if it's not holding on to a commitment seven times. Yeah but they rise again. That's good. And I love that because for the child of God, you hear me, brothers and sisters, for you, for us, there's always a number eight stamped mm. on our forehead, the number of new beginnings. That's why mm. his mercies are, are new. His mercy, I love that, shalom, yes, peace be upon you. His mercies and compassions are new every morning. That means, yes. minister, we see a mercy today that we did not see yesterday. And that means the wrath and the whatever uh, mistakes of yesterday do not have to drip into today because it's mm -hmm. not just another day. It's the first day in God. Yes. Ooh, yes. That's encouraging because he gives us a fresh start every day. Fresh. So it's developing. Amen. Don't get discouraged because yeah. you fell down. Don't be like the commercial. I've fallen and I can't get up. No, mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost and the word of God is getting up power. Yes. And and going I on. And, and and I mean, the Hebrews uh, chapter four uh, and verse 16. So let us come boldly to the come throne on. of our gracious God. Yeah. Here we will receive his mercy uh -huh. and will find grace to help us when we need it more. I mean. Yeah, I love that. Listen, and you know, come on. We're talking about grace now. Favor. Yes. Favor. I speak favor over you, minister, yes. in a way that you've never known before. The throne. And then, you know, I love that word boldness because some yes. people think that maybe we shouldn't be so arrogant and so, mm -hmm. uh, so, so confident and so yes. prompt to do it. But that's what the word says. Yes. It's the word yes. parhesia. It literally yes. means frankness of speech. In other words, tell God exactly what's on your mind and yes. come prompt to do it, not with your head held down, but with your held he he with your held with yes. your head mm -hmm. held high. Yes. Held sir. head held head held high. Can you yes. say that three times fast? Yes. Head yeah. And, 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 yeah. And, amen. And it mean and that means go before him to receive a well timed help. Yes. Because God knows the timing of exactly when he's going to intervene. So, yeah. 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 And, and, and that's I mean, good. that's amazing the way that's that's put right there, that God knows the timing. You see, sometimes in our own life, we think that it is yeah. the time because the yeah. pressure is so severe. I mean, right. Speak. Whatever speak. we are going through, speak. it feels like 
it is an immediate help. I'm a witness. I'm a and, witness. And, and and God would no, it's not. I'm a witness. Mind. You understand? I'm a witness. I mean, Come. as I'm thinking about that, I'm thinking about the Hebrew boys when they went through the fire. I mean, they went through the fire. It wasn't that they went into the fire and immediately God took them out right, of the fire. Right, right, but right, right. Or, avo or avoided the furnace altogether. Exactly. They went, it wasn't they like went when they old. felt the heat. That's a they, word. They, they ran away. It wasn't that they just felt the heat. They literally went through it. You, you, you feel as when they came to the point where they felt the heat that God would say, okay, that, that, that's enough. And within our lives, I mean, we are feeling the heat and this is for somebody even right now. And, and he can represent yeah. so many things in your right. life, whether it's a financial, whether it's a physical, right. whether it's a, a, a relationship, you know, whether it's your own spiritual walk, whether it's right. a, a frustration, but right. whether there's despondency, but whatever Good preaching. that Good preaching. is, understand that God knows the exact time woof, to pull you out of that, the exact exact time to fix the problem, the right time to step in. And he will never let us get so scorched or so burnt up that we are beyond recognition. Oh we my, never go this is, you, As I, a you must fact, be... he'll take us to the point where recognition will be that the son of God is reflected in our lives, just you like it is in the that. lives of the Hebrew boys. Well, man, let me tell you something. Well, look, you know what? That's an encouraging word because I love the I love the what the Bible said. There's a fourth man. Yeah. Ooh, oh, Father, I see. That's why we can praise him in the circumstance. Yeah. Because there's always a fourth man with yeah. us. Emmanuel. Yes. Sir. God with us. Mm -hmm. Paracletos, Comforter, Holy Ghost, God in us. Mm -hmm. I mean, we got the fourth man, so we could yes. go in, and then, and then this is this is what I love about because here's the encouraging word you said that this is for somebody, and I guess I bear I, I bear witness too. Yeah. Not, not only somebody that, but that's me. But for somebody mm -hmm. that's, that's listening, you you said this. God knows the timing. God knows the timing. You know what? what time is one thing. Timing is everything. Yes. And 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 there are times, minister, where I'm like, yes. Father. I can't take anymore. So, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not one of those who say, well, God won't put on you more mm -hmm. than you're able to bear. I'm sorry. You're going to have to excuse me. That's yeah. not what the Bible says. He said he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability to escape. But Paul yeah. said we were pressed out of measure. Second Corinthians uh, chapter one, we were pressed out of measure and the sentence of death was upon him. You know how many mm. times I've said I can't take this anymore. And he said, I didn't tell you to take it. Yeah. I said, if you give it to me, I'll take it. If you yes. let me. Yes. And so here's the scripture, uh, uh, Galatians 6 and 9, be not weary. Yes. That's it. Uh-huh. In well-doing, mm -hmm. like I'm going to praise him, Lord, I yeah. praise you. Like yeah. I'm going to pray, National Day of Prayer. Well, for me, every day yeah. is a National Day yes. of Prayer. Yeah. I'm praying every day. Yes. We should always pray and not faint, mm -hmm. not lose heart. Not get exhausted. Be not mm -hmm. weary. Be not tired. Be not fatigued and well doing. That's right. Even if you feel it, something else is going yes. on. Yes. For in due season, due there's season. your thing. Due speaks to idios. It speaks to the self. Mm -hmm. And season is we. You know, we talked about this. Is that Greek word kairos, which means not not just chronos, chronology, mm -hmm. uh, seconds, minutes, days, hours, weeks years but kairos is that time out of time to yes. where god does his greatest move his greatest breakthrough his greatest miracle and we think it's late like lazarus yeah and here come god now the, the lord waits four days yeah. what beyond resuscitation yeah. and then minister judy all god has to do is speak a word that's right call your name one time you hear me, Roseanne. Mm -hmm. All God has to do is call mm -hmm. your name once. Yes. You hear me, Victor? All he has to do is call your name once. And whatever was impossible, whatever was dead, dormant, whatever did not smell right, whatever was, be whatever was beyond hope, even if the prayer is gone, it's like no way to resurrect this. Let God speak one word. Let God call your name one time. Yes. 
that that has to be for uh, Lorraine. Let God call your name one time. Yes. And all of a sudden, what appeared to be late, God's timing. So I don't want to, I don't want to be weary and well doing. And yes, the and the best right. thing, last thing, the best thing, the the good, the 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 well doing is praying, praising, yes, and growing in the word, getting into the word of God, eating the word. Yes, sir. You don't mind if I say it. Mm hmm Exactly. And and minister, that that introduction is perfect for our mm. theme mm. tonight. Spiritual yeah. fatigue. Yeah. Because so often in our lives, and I mean it's the same thing in, in the natural, and we've been making uh comparisons uh throughout this series that um just as in any journey that you are experiencing, we feel if you're doing a marathon, if you're running, if you're exercising, whatever it is. So often we come to a point where we feel tired, where we are exhausted. Yeah. Right. Um, sometimes in life we, we are discouraged. And it's the same thing in the spiritual. And it's so important for people to know that it is okay discouragement sets in sometimes that's good that you we the, the way that we we are made up it's okay. i mean we it's experience okay. spiritual exhaustion in our or in in our in our lives like i love and, the way you said we it's need okay to identify right uh the things that will cause us to be exhausted and and mm. sometimes it comes in the form of discouragement it comes right. in the form of That's unmet right. expectations very good Sometimes very it good comes in the form of sickness right comes in the form right. of our own frustration when right we, right things are not working out the way right. that we anticipate them right and 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 and, and we go through this hmm. and it's interesting because the bible really just filled with people that experience exhaustion in their life spiritually oh, yeah. and it is not at that point for us to give up or to throw right. in the towel or to right. turn our backs but you said it in the word uh when you in galatians be not weary be not weary. which means we weariness will will happen will happen it's a will, will it will happen life. right but right. don't stay there don't get right stuck right in weary land i like that don't get stuck in weary land you know <laughs> oh man that's good you know, uh uh because uh, you can stay in that place in that place of seclusion in that place of abandonment again depending on what's happening depending on what you are experiencing and i <laughs> So we want to look at maybe some of the things that would trigger, and I just um, name a, a few of them. That's really. excellent, though. Yeah, it's and encouraging to hear that. that. Fatigue souls lead to fatigue bodies, you know, because mm. sometimes even in in um, as preachers, as teachers, ministers, right. you right. know, we, in our own physical body, you know, right. there's a fatigue that That's that. Right comes along and sometimes uh, it's accompanied by a fatigue even within our own um uh, souls so that's right that's you, right you mentioned earlier about seasons and 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 that's applicable here because mm -hmm. uh, we go through the different seasons in our life just like there are seasons right now you know whether it's the fall whether it's the winter whether it's the summer whether it's the spring right. Um, but all of those seasons, they're just temporary. And that's, as believers, oh, that's a good we word. have to recognize good that word. in the seasons of our life, it's not always going to be springtime. We're we right. spring and everything is blooming right. and everything looks right. beautiful. It's my favorite season. I love the spring. I just love going out there and taking pictures and watching the flowers bloom. It's beautiful. But then there are times... <laughs> also experience the dreary winter time right the times right. of coldness the times of when um seems like nothing is happening or appearing. nothing's growing everything and is just exactly. cold and just lifeless and uncomfortable 
uncomfortable. And, and, but we need to know what to do in those seasons in our life. And I just want to bring out a couple of uh, characters in the Bible mm. and, and look at how they experienced because it, it was fatigue. And uh, I'm going to use the New Living Translation tonight because I thought it was amazing when I, I looked at these. Numbers chapter uh, 11, uh, verse 13 to 15. And of course, we, we, we looked at this scripture a couple of weeks ago when, we, when the children of Israel uh, came out of Egypt and they were going through the wilderness experience and God was feeding them, but they got into a, a, a time of, of complain, complaining. But you know what, minister? That was also a time of spiritual fatigue for them as of well. Of course. Of because course. again, you'll see here unmet expectations. What they spoke about is everything that they left in Egypt, the comfortable place they knew, the food that they received on a daily basis, all of that. And they felt like now here it, we are in a place where our expectations are not being met, where we are drained and it's not comfortable. But look at what uh, Moses said to them. I want to read this. Uh, chapter 11, verse 13. Um, of Nehemiah? Uh, numbers. 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 Chapter 11. Right? And and look from verse 13. This, is, this, this was Moses' response. Remember I said that here are some characters in the word of God that went through spiritual fatigue as well. So mm -hmm. I want you to know you are not in this alone. Right. That's yeah. so encouraging. That's yeah. so encouraging. Can, can I say this before I forget. I want you to go in there. You know what was encouraging? I don't know if anybody else felt this, but when you just said, you know, it's okay. Yeah. It's it's okay because that's part of the thing. Because the devil, we're just exposing one of the lies of the enemy. He'll yes. use that to condemn us, to make us feel guilty because, mm -hmm. you know, we should be better than this and we should be, uh, you know, I heard, and I'm going to say this, but I heard pre I've heard preachers say, you know, I haven't had a blue Monday in years and I don't have any Monday and any day that's not a victory day and, and you know i'm on top and full of happiness and joy is is you know is is not of god and that's just wrong to teach people that. yes 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 uh, so i'm sorry go ahead no that's good because yeah. um we can get so caught up in that and and believe it and allow that to really uh lead our lives in the way we are thinking this is what moses said remember um what the people went through and they were at a point of complaining from verse 13, he says, where am I supposed to get me? He's talking to God. He, he's letting yeah. his frustration out on God. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and I want you to know that there are times in our lives that we do that as well. And perhaps oh, yes, some of you are in that place right now. Where right. am I supposed to get meat for all these people? They keep whining to me saying, give us meat to eat, give us meat to eat. I can't carry all these people by myself the load is far too heavy i love this part this yeah. is what he said to god new living translation if this is how you intend to treat me just go ahead and kill me do me a well, favor and yeah. spare me from my misery i mean yeah <laughs> the yeah. Great leader Moses, yeah. who got yeah. called and and, and he led the people. He was successful in leading them out of Egypt. But it came to a point, and sometimes we go through uh, right. our spiritual fatigue because of people, because of the expectation of very people, good, because of very the good, and the whining, because yep. of the pressure of people, because of the demands of our. They, 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 they won't. They won't let you rest. Yeah, it's looking to me for yeah. help, for the answers. Uh, I need Being, answers yeah. myself. And we I need answers that. myself. And you might feel as if all of this load is upon you. And this is how Moses responded. He felt to a point, hey, take me out of my misery, God. You can well mm -hmm. just kill me. 
because I can't get through this. I can't get over right. these people. I, I can't seem to meet the expectations. What right. am I supposed to tell him? And he right. had the great leader, one of the greatest leader. And and I'll, I'll get to what God said to him. And, and that's another uh, thing, you know, a solution. Because God then said to Moses, listen, I want you to get me 70 men. I want you to get some people. Then the Lord said to Moses, gather before me 70 men who are recognized as elders and leaders. Bring them to the tabernacle to stand there with you. I will come down and talk with you there. I will take some of the spirit that is upon you and I will put the spirit upon them also. They will bear the burden of the people along with you so you will not have to carry it alone. Mm. Always remember mm. that God has a solution for whatever our weariness is, for whatever our tiredness is. And perhaps I'm speaking to some leaders or to some ministers or even at this time and you feel as if I, I have no one to work with me. I, I, I don't know. And I'm passionate about this, but where are the people? God understood Moses' frustration. He knew how weary he was. And he said, listen, right. I'm going to get some people and it's not just going to be anybody, but I'm going to take my spirit and right. I'm going to place my spirit in these people so that they can be a support system for you. You don't have to carry your weariness alone. You don't have to drag through alone. God has a support system ready and in place. Hey, for you. man, this, I mean, that's really, <laughs> see, and you know that that is so powerful. Amen, 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 and amen. And you know, it's, what's a key there, minister? Yes. Is that one of the reasons why I love Moses so much is because Moses spent time in God's presence. Yes. For some of God's glory to yes. rub off on him. Because, because for, for, for him to be able to get, you know, have the ear of God and have the, and to be able to speak mm -hmm. that plainly to the father uh, is a key. Yes. Uh, when you, when we're f f when we're being pulled in so many different directions. Yeah. And we're hearing the complaints and you know that just the voices from coming coming from yeah. everywhere. You're drained. You're being mm -hmm. pulled in so many different directions. And then of course you're human, so you have your as you were stating, you have your own uh, things that you have to deal with. And I just love how great the prophet Moses. Was yes. just he just kept it real, you know. Yes. Look, where am I going? What am I going? See, in other words, where am I going to get this? Yes, this, I'm looking to you. So you know, he had to be in God's presence to be able to yeah. to be able to talk like that. Yes. And that's why people sometimes you shouldn't question God. Incorrect. Yeah. Not you. We can complain. Come on. Most yeah. of the psalms are psalms of lament and frustration. Mm -hmm. And, and and I love the fact that you can be real with God, but yes. there's a secret. God gave him an answer, and you said yes. this. You said there's always an answer. Listen, yes. beloved, there's always a solution. There's always a divine agenda. There's mm -hmm. always that 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 um spiritual key issue, yes. and that comes one time. The Spirit spoke to my heart and said, "You're looking for direction. You're looking for something specific." He said, "Right now, I'm not going to deal with you." Uh, I'll give you something specific. You're gonna mm -hmm. wait on me this yes. time, and yes. you're gonna deal with. You're gonna you're gonna follow through with what I've already dealt with you about. Yeah, you know me. So so the idea is waiting. I need this right. No 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 mm -hmm. no no no. Wait a minute. Wait for his voice. Yes. Wait for his guidance. Wait for his direction. Yes. Uh, and and I love that. Um, can I just add this to to yes, Moses? Sure, sure. Uh, uh, Isaiah 40, and I have a sneaky suspicion you were going to go here, but mm -hmm. Isaiah 40, this really encourages me because this sounds like what, when, when Moses received this answer from God, look, I'm giving you my spirit. I've called yeah. you and I anointed you. 
And when he says, I'm going to put the spirit upon them that's upon you, yes. well, the spirit that was upon him came from God. Yes. And, there we, and, there, and that's what we call the anointing because the anointing is not just a goosebump or a feeling. It is a person, the Holy Ghost. And the, the anointing is the active presence of the Holy Spirit. It gives strength to do what we cannot do in our natural, in our natural yeah. ability because you can't fulfill the call of God. So let me speak to the ministers also. You cannot fulfill the call of God mm -hmm. in your own strength. You may have talent. You may have skill. You may be able to put this and put that together, but it is the anointing, the spirit of the Lord that uh, that that uh, fulfills the call of God. Yes. And sir. and and remember, um, is it in Thessalonians that he said the one who called you will also do it? Yeah. <laughs> so a key is waiting in God's presence. But listen yes. to what Isaiah, the prophet. This is this is we're going to add this on Moses. Isaiah 40 <laughs> verse 29. He gives, this is yeah. New King James. He mm -hmm. gives power to the weak. That's good. And to those who have no might, he increase, He increases strength. Increases. So I got, listen, I got to recognize what my source is. There's a lot of resources, Minister Judy. Yeah. But there's only one divine, ultimate, mm -hmm. powerful, all powerful source. And that, he said, and to those who have no might, yes, he increases strength. Yes, and this is here's my message because I'm always preaching this that there's no generation gap in the Bible. I never see that in the Old Testament. You mm. every age range, every gender was in one group and they spoke because sometimes we act like that the Holy Ghost is a child within a child, yeah. the Holy Ghost knows how to speak. Just like he spoke to Daniel and yeah. Samuel. There's no generation gap because he says in verse 30, even the youth shall faint and be weary. We're seeing that in this day and hour. Yeah. Shall they, in other words, they will come to a place of fatigue. Yeah. So it's not a, it's not age specific because yeah. the devil, well, I'm getting up. Nah, 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 nah. And the young men shall utterly fall. Mm. But those who wait on the Lord, that was one of Moses' keys. Yes. And even complaining to the Lord was a kind of waiting on him because yeah. he didn't complain to the people. He complained to the Lord. To God. Yes, but sir. those who wait on the Lord mm -hmm. shall renew their strength. They shall mount up. They'll get yeah. new vigor, new insight, yeah. new direction, new going on power. Yeah. With mount up with wings like eagles. In other words, they'll be able to soar above what appear to be giants. Mm. Now nothing more than grasshoppers. Yeah. And even if a giant comes, it's nothing but a friend to our strength because, yes, because God uses it to develop us. They shall run and not be weary or not be fatigued, mm. worn out, burned yes. out. That's it. They shall walk. And here's the walk wow. now. We walk mm. by faith and not by sight. They shall walk and not faint, not give up, not lose heart, not throw in, throw in the towel, not call it quits. But all of a sudden, just just waiting on the presence of God. And I, can I encourage somebody? Just be real mm -hmm. with God. Yeah. But just like the minister said, we all come to the place of, of weariness. This is why we have to, this is why we pray. This is why we call yes. upon God. Yes. This is why we wait upon the Lord because yeah. we need his strength in this day. And I love that winter because because this was a winter time. This was a yes. time of frustration yeah. for Moses here in Numbers, uh, Numbers 11. And the idea is be not weary in well-doing, for in due season, what does that mean? Yeah. You don't plant in the spring, you reap in the spring. Mm -hmm. So even while you're going through the breaking and the shaking and the pain and the coldness of the pain or the extreme heat, yes. you're doing something. Yeah. You're waiting on God. Yes. You're not being where, but you say, I don't even have strength enough to do that. Let me tell you mm -hmm. something, the way you think, Think will attract the glory and the anointing to you. Mm. If you can just think, Lord, you are my source. Yeah, I mean, good God from Zion, because because the Bible says, uh, as as one thinketh in his heart, so is he. So yeah. even, so if you just think, the Lord is my strength. If you just think, He's my source. Yes, good God from Zion. If you start speaking <laughs> that out, yeah, man. So we can do it, even if we can yeah. only whisper. Yes. If we, can, yes. if we have laryngitis, we can only think it. Yes. It draws the glory. It draws mm. the anointing like magnet to a metal. Yeah. Wow. Minister, that, that is so encouraging. 
even to, to somebody even right now that has been experiencing going mm. through uh, yeah. this type of season in their life. Yeah. And perhaps they too were complaining to God and feeling guilty yes. about it. Because right, right, the enemy, right, right. The enemy right. would place guilt on you. That guilt, that's not right. what you're supposed to do. Oh my God, come defense. on minister. They're thinking that, oh boy, Instead of growing uh, stronger or progressing, oh it means God. I'm getting oh my weaker. God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And they start telling themselves, oh, I was better than this years ago. I lost oh something. My God. Oh, you didn't minute. lose anything. No, you didn't you lose nothing out. You're just going through your season, it's just a point of fatigue. Ooh, woo, that. It. That's why that Isaiah 40 is so powerful. The fact that we can just wait on God and wait on in his presence just stay there and watch him and, and you could be miserable and, and, and still I, in the presence of god you you could be you, 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 know you get me excited you get me excited that because they, they acted up and they missed that they can't be or the presence See, of god is not there somebody's getting free we, right now we, we tend to always believe that the presence is of god and um, that there's always all the time just this cloud of glory and everything but and and there is the cloud of glory, but we might not be going through all it's right, right. that. We, but we're that not cloud is going to engulf us. So speak coming to the presence of God. If you are in fatigue, and 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 and, Lord, and, and what Lord. we would learn Woo. throughout this, because we're going to yes. run with this, is 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 is. is that God wants us to come into His presence. Yeah, yeah, in yeah, those yeah. times. You know, so many people, when they're going through and they're experiencing these times, I'm not going to church anymore because they think it is the church. Because they, they, they think they think the that I got to wait. I got to wait. Listen, listen, listen. I don't want to be around them. I don't want to be around anybody. I just want to be alone. And I, you know, and, and but listen, it's the alone, but in the presence of God. In the pre Listen, Being listen, the you, you're preaching. You're preaching. You could be in Did a you? church and, and not be in the presence of God. How many of you know I'm talking right? Even right now. Yeah, 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 you yeah. yeah. Listen, listen, listen. Look at here. Of God. Look at here. You know what? God is not in every place. Well, 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 well. well. Yeah, yeah. You know God look, is look. everywhere, but the presence of God. Because people could be doing something totally different. That's right. And not even staying in the present. They could be entertaining. Without the that's they, no, you 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 you're absolutely right. And this is why I this is why that God doesn't save the nation because of a mega church. Right. So what about a mega? I'm not down to mega churches. Thank mm -hmm. God. Let there be take the whole city over. But God doesn't save a nation because of mega church. God mm -hmm. saves a nation because he finds a few yes. that have the guts enough to stand in the gap, mm -hmm. even in the midnight hour. But let me tell you something. I felt like the back of the enemy is being broken off of, you know, I started saying this. That must be a word. I really believe this is a word because the yoke, the, the burden shall be taken off the shoulder yes. uh, uh, be, because of the anointing. But you said yes. something, and I want to repeat this. I want to mm -hmm. repeat this and I want y'all to hear this because this is blessing me. She said, you said you could be miserable in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. Listen, stop fake. You ain't look, look, you do not have to fake it in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. What what minister Judy is saying is like you, you don't wait to feel something to get into his presence. Yeah. You right. may feel frustrated. You may feel angry. You may feel miserable, like you said, but stay there. That's, That's right, right there in his presence. And I love that because the enemy will, he'll use that to try to make yeah. you feel guilty. Mm -hmm. You don't have any joy. You're not happy. And I love what you said. I know. Mm -hmm. Listen, if somebody just got touched by by what Minister Judy said, like how the enemy speaks to us. You were better than this before. You should be further than this. Mm -hmm. Just put in the chat. That's me. That's me. That's mm -hmm. me. Don't even let any shame. Because when you when you release that, God goes to work at that moment. Yeah. You don't have to feel guilty because God's right. not saying, oh, nope, I'm yeah. not talking to you because you're not acting like you should. Nah, mm -hmm. I want, he says, come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden. He didn't say, come unto me who got it all together. Yes. I'm the one who gets you together. Yes. So you, the, the key is in his presence. That's right. Holiness, yes. holiness. It's in yeah. his presence. Breaking habits that you've been struggling with is in his presence. Now, I'm, right. I'm going to get myself together and then yeah. I'll get to the presence. The devil is a liar. 
That's in it right. your job to get yourself together. Do what you know to do now. Yeah. Okay. And you, you know, listen, I need to pray. I need to walk in love. I need to forgive. But yeah. it's God's strength that gives That's you the right. power to do that. That's Holiness right. is not what you wear. It's it's what you are yes. by the power of the Holy Ghost. And it manifests itself from the inside out, not from the outside in. Yeah. And I love that. I love that because there's times when I've had to cry. There's times when mm -hmm. I felt so frustrated and so isolated being in the mm -hmm. middle of a crowd minister yeah. and still yeah. feeling alone. Yeah. Being in the midst of hundreds and still feeling alone. Yeah. You got to let me read this. I don't want to go or take too much of your time, but can I just read this one verse mm -hmm. from, from Psalms? Real, real yes, quick, yes, look, at Saul, look at what David David said. David said this in Psalm 13. Psalm 13, this is, I'm going to go with the old King James. How long will thou forget me, mm. O Lord, yes. forever? How long is it going to take? And I'm, I'm fatigued. Yes. I'm tired of waiting. Yes. How long will you hide your face from me? Yes. Look at this, Sister Anne. She said, that's me. Yeah. Look at that. Look, this Victor saying, that's me. How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow yeah. in my heart daily? I'm worn out. I'm burned out. I'm fatigued. How long shall my yeah. enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, oh Lord, my God. That's not a. That's a. That's a voice of frustration, Minister. Yeah. And he said, "Lighten mine eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death." In other words, I'm on the verge of just going yeah. into the grave if you don't come to my rescue. Yeah. Where are you, God? But then I like the resolve. Mm. I like Holy Ghost bounce back. He said, "Lest my enemy say I have prevailed against him, and those that trouble me rejoice." When I am moved, in other words, move from the presence, move from my position of hope and expectation, yeah. move from my breakthrough. Mm -hmm. And in verse five, he said, but I just yes, wish somebody sir. would put but in the chat. Mm. But, but, but this yeah. is what God's word was to Moses. But I have trusted in thy mm. mercy, yes, in sir. your unfailing love, mm. in your protection protective custody yeah. in your restraining order. I have put my trust in that. I, I got a point of reference. Yeah. Israel was complaining and groaning and, and grumbling because their point of reference always went back to the, to where they came from as yeah. far as slavery is concerned. Yeah. But our point of reference should be what God delivered us from. Yes. Good God. And then he said, my heart shall rejoice in Thy salvation. In other words, I'm, I'm given an advance, how you say it. I'm given an advance praise yeah. on mm -hmm. a forthcoming and upcoming yeah. testimony. I will sing. Notice, I will. This yeah. is my declaration. Sing unto the yeah. Lord because he hath dealt bountifully with me. Yeah. In other words, he touched me back there. Let me just get that yeah. one point of reference because it's yeah. going to give me strength for today. Look at all these butts. Mm. You see all these butts here? Mm-hmm. God, I thank you, dear Lord thank Jesus. You. Wow. I'm encouraged, That's minister. Yes, Don't sir. feel guilty, sister. Don't feel yeah. guilty, brother, yeah. because you know you feel that way. I like it. And can I tell you something? I heard one minister uh, uh, say this years ago. He's He went home to be in the Lord, but he's a famous minister. And he said, doubt is a compliment. Because mm -hmm. you're not doubting. You're not going to doubt if you're not believing something. Yeah. If yeah. you haven't been on the road of faith, it's a it's a backhanded compliment. In other words, the very fact that there's frustration and fatigue yeah. and the desire to give up, it's because you're moving somewhere. Yes, sir. It's you're going on somewhere. Yes, but sir. he'll renew you. He'll give you a new start, a new yeah. day. And I'll tell you something else. I'm, I'm sorry I'm going on like this. I'll tell you something else. But Joel prophesied it. The years that the canker worm, the palmer worm, the locust, and the caterpillar have eaten, God mm -hmm. will buy back time for you. And you yeah. think it's late, but he will cause you to, to play catch up yes, and sir. have you in the right time at the right place. Good God from Zion. Amen. Lord, I just Amen. give you that's, 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 that's encouragement for some somebody. And I, I want to clarify this because I, I want to be so clear. When, when we are saying that you can be miserable and in the presence of God, we're talking right. about you can come into the presence of God right, right. with That's your misery. I mean. Right, right. Of course. Of, of being course. miserable. Not that 
the spirit of God makes you miserable. I don't want. No, no, no. Right, right. No, the spirit. Anyway, of, okay, you know? yes. Clear that you know up. Clear how that it up. Is. Just want to well, clarify listen, that. No, well, because well, listen, what you're can, saying is however yes. you are, you come into the presence of God because his however you are, makes however you are, the difference. His presence creates changes. In now, his there, presence. The characters that I, I, I want to quickly okay. uh, bring. I, I, uh, the New Testament. Let, let's look at Paul. Mm. Because Paul's life was totally interrupted by God. It's like God called him. He, he went there. He, he was on the road to Damascus. Change yeah, yeah. over his life. And yet, and you would think that, okay, God, you call me. You disrupted my plans. So everything now should be great. And that's right, what happened. Right. Yeah, there, there are times in our lives when God interrupts our plans. And we're thinking that, wow, okay, it's going to be a great change immediately. Right, right, right. But it's not always that way. It doesn't mean that there was a mistake or that it wasn't God. Look right. at the, that Paul that went through everything in, in 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Oh, I mean, man. Oh, I mean, man. I, I my one one of my favorite that. chapters. But one of my favorite chapters. Guys, I'm just going to, to go from perhaps... Uh, you know, verse uh, 26, because he, I mean, he, he said about so many different things that, that happened to him five times, you know, the, the leaders, he was beaten 30, right. 39 times. He was facing dangers from rivers right. and from robbers. And he right. was faced with danger from his own people. Remember that, that that's a point of reference that that's we are right. talking about tonight. That's that, right that uh, we can get into our state of fatigue because mm -hmm. of people, because of people's actions, reactions, right. responses. And here was Paul saying, this is what I have been faced, danger from men uh, who claim to be believers, but yes. are not. That's yes, right. I was faced with people that were saying that they're Christians and we're together as brothers, but they were not. I have worked hard and long, enjoying many sleepless nights. I have been hungry and thirsty. Mm, and I've mm. often gone without food. Read I have that, shivered that. in the cold without enough clothing to keep me warm. Then besides all of this, I have had the daily burden of my concern for all the churches. In other words, on top of all of this, that I'm personally experiencing. Then yeah. I'm dealing also with my ministry and the churches and the burdens and the and the people. Here he was experiencing spiritual fatigue. He mm. was going through it all. But we know what happened later. We know he said that I would not, oh, you name it, and I would not give it up. That's right. For That's my right. love for God. So this, look, I mean, <laughs> minister, look, see now, now what you're saying, you, you hit on, we didn't just, we didn't plan this, but you hit on one of my favorite chapters in ministry. One of my favorite chapters, as far as keeping it real in the presence of God, because mm -hmm. he said, that's why chapter 12 comes along and says, because of what God has called me to. Yes. Because of the abundance of revelations I have received. Watch what he says now. Yeah. He did see, and people get this mixed up. There has been given unto me a he didn't say a messenger from God, he said Amen. a messenger of Satan. Yes. Straight from the throne yes. of hell, Minister yes. Judy, yes. with yes. one directive, one assignment, one focus, and that is to bring me to a dead standstill, yes. to make me so exhausted so drained emotionally, physically, and spiritually that I'm just, like you said, I'm just giving it up. Yeah. And and then he begged God. Yeah. Three seasons yes. in his life. Yes. This encourages me. You yes. know, it's a Jewish, youth, it's a Hebrew euphemism. When he said, I sought God three times, mm -hmm. it means he was brought to his knees in three seasons of his life mm -hmm. where he literally begged God deliver me from this thorn. Mm -hmm. the thorn the idea that you know what as anointed as god has anointed me as as anointed as i am in god 
he allows stuff to happen to mm -hmm. show that I'm still human and yeah. I need to pray and yeah. I need God's grace. Third yeah. time he got it. Yeah. My grace is sufficient. Third yeah. time he got the revelation. Yeah. My grace is more than enough. In other words, I'm not going to change your flesh right now. That'll mm -hmm. change when the Trump sounds. So you're going to have to live from the inside out. Yeah. The devil has a roller coaster and he'll take you for a ride if you let him. So when I'm weak, in other words, I'm a good candidate. Yeah. We're, I'm a good candidate for power that comes from heaven. Yes. Power sir. that can only come from God. Let me be yeah. quiet. You got me. You got me. Like I mean, fiery, I, man. Yeah. Ahead, I man. wanted to bring, bring these gardeners out because as we go through and, and perhaps next week, then we look at the other side of their lives. Yeah, they, they went through all this. They went through oh, I um, see. Okay. They, they, they spiritual fatigue, but look at the end result. Finally, I mean, I will give you a piece of this because these are the main characters that we are probably, Job, Job chapter seven. Oh yeah. Right? New Living Translation, using it for tonight. Job starts out this chapter by saying, is not all human life a struggle? <laughs> Our lives are like that of a hired hand, like a worker who longs for the shade. He said, I too have been assigned months of futility, long and weary nights of misery. Yeah. Lying in bed, I think, when will it be morning? Be morning. When is the breakthrough? <laughs> Boy, let's get on that next week. But the uh -huh. night drags on and I toss till dawn. Till dawn. Body is covered with maggots and, and scabs. My Scabs. skin breaks, breaks open, open. Oozing. oozing with My pus. day fly faster than a weaver's shuttle. They end, and then the day ends without hope. Oh, God, mm. remember that my life is but a breath, and I will never again feel happiness. That's what he said. That's what the man that we'll talk about that got everything in the end. He went through his time of spiritual fatigue in right. which he felt like, listen, all of life is just a struggle. This is That's how right. I'm feeling. Like it's That's a struggle. Right. I have to struggle for everything. Right. I have to go through all of this every time. Look, physically, I have health issues. Yeah. I'm dealing yeah. with it. And it's worse. I mean, I'm a sore to look at, literally. Mm. And this is what's happening to me. And it's almost, but God, where are you? Aren't you seeing me? Aren't you seeing my plight? I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of going through this. I've been going through it so long. There's too many seasons of this, God. And he felt like, I know my life. I'm not going to be happy ever again. Have you ever felt like that? That this is yep. it? I'm yeah, listen, you preaching or experience pre happiness in my life. You're you're preaching to me. But hey, join us next week. Let's look at these characters. Let's look at how God transformed their lives. And I want you, hey, invite your friends to come on. This is going to be good. Amen. Let me let me this, pray, this is pray. good. Yeah. I, I can't wait. Not. So we're gonna deal with we're gonna deal with Job. We're gonna deal with Paul. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, we dealt I'm Father, I speak a little. Yeah. And Moses a little. Yeah. Yeah. Uh I speak strength. Yes, God. To your weary soul. Yes. To your weary circumstances. Yes. I speak the anointing and the strength of Zion upon yes. you this moment. Yes, God. Be strengthened, man. Be strengthened, woman. Even as I speak, the Lord touch you with expectation and hope yes. and strength. Because your best days are not behind you. Yes. They are before you. And like Samson of old, your latter days shall be greater than the former. In the name of the Lord, wow. we speak of Jesus, Hallelujah. the very Christ. Amen. Amen. I pray Amen. for someone just real quick with chest pains. Yes. If that's you, just put your hand on your chest. And if you're having chest pains, I speak against the cause and effect, the root and the fruit. In Jesus' name, pain, Amen. leave them, be healed. In Amen. Jesus name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Wow. Thank you so much for joining us today and uh, grow in the word. And we're excited about what God is doing. Join us on the HFS Global Pray Line. 
351-888-7202. Dr. Cheryl Moore from Barbados will be our guest speaker. We have some great intercessors. Minister Burley and myself will continue along these lines of praying for healing and deliverance. Thank yeah. you so much. God bless you and continue to grow in the word. Join Minister Judy and Minister Derek Burley. Sometimes when people know about our past or about our situation or That's what I was saying. Want to think of, I said to myself, I mean, did, did Hannah drink before? Did, how did he come right up with this? That, you know, because I should know you well enough. Every Thursday at 7 p.m. for Growing the Word. I believe in positive thinking. Yeah. But our positive thinking must be drawn from something that is absolute or someone that is absolute. On Facebook and YouTube. God bless you. Pray changes things. So join the HFS Global Pray Network every Thursday at 8 p.m. The conference call number is 351. 888-7202. Again, 351-888-7202. For with God, nothing is impossible.